Hey lovely people, Kai43 here, and I despise the Let Go app now. I did a review on the Let Go app in February of 2016, a couple months ago. I was letting you all know that the app is cool, you can sell your items on there, take pictures of it, do a description of it, have people view the item, have people like the item, and then have people actually message you about the item, negotiate prices, and then meet up with them in person, and take all the profit for yourself without having to share it with the Let Go owners or you know the app whatever and recently I've been processing into the Air Force and I'm gonna be leaving soon and there's a lot of items that I have in my room and I'm just like hey I could make money off of this before I leave let me go ahead and try to sell it on the let go app so I had four items that I attempted to sell I took pictures of all of them I made the descriptions very detailed and I made the prices negotiable there was one item that was a armband it was a phone case you could put it on your arm for working out and I got a message about it. I got a message about it from this guy. Now his profile picture was of him waist up, no shirt. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, he must like to work out, so this is a great item for him to use. I'll go ahead and reference the messages. He went ahead and said, hi, um, I'm so-and-so. Hi, I'd like to buy, I'm interested. Now, the two messages that say, hi, I'd like to buy, and I'm interested, are generic statements that the LetGo app has added to the message future. So I went ahead and said, yes, it's for sale, which is also a generic answer, and he said, okay. I went ahead and asked, what is your offer? He said 20. I was like, oh, you know, that's fine. It's just a little armband, um, but hey, if he wants to give me 20, I'm not going to say lower or higher. I'll settle for 20. And I went ahead and asked him, do you think your device will fit? I asked him if his device will fit because I genuinely care about the people that are buying the item. I want to make sure that they can use it to its fullest extent. With this item in particular, I attempted to use it, but I just didn't feel comfortable with it on my arm. So I know one thing that will throw somebody off of buying it is if their phone doesn't fit. So he, was, he said, why not? Question mark. And I'm like, okay, well, I took five pictures of the item. If he's asking me why not, then I guess we're fine. We can move on with the conversation. So I said, just making sure, when do you want to do the exchange? He said, today. This was on a Sunday, around 8.30 almost. And I said, are you free tomorrow during the day? Instead, he said, hmm, not sure. So I'm like, okay, if tonight is better, would you be able to meet me at the shoppers in my neighborhood? He said, nope, don't actually have a car. Sorry. So I immediately questioned him. I'm like, so how do you plan on getting the item? He asked me, do you drive? I said, yes. He said, so you can come over. I did not feel comfortable with that. I did not respond for about 30 minutes. Then I went ahead and asked him what time, because I told my boyfriend, like, hey, I was about to sell this item, but... I don't want to go by myself. He was like, you know, we can hang out afterwards. We can sell the item first. I'll go with you. So I felt more comfortable, and that is why I continued the conversation. He asked me what time is best for you. I said about 20, 30 minutes because it wouldn't take me long to get to his location. And he said today or dot, dot, dot. And I said yes. He said, okay, if you want. I was very thrown off by his responses then, but I went ahead and asked him for the address and he gave it to me. Now, I said I was going to be leaving out in about 20 to 30 minutes because on the Let Go app there is a map feature which tells you where the person is generally located. So I was like, yeah, it'll take me about that time to get there. So when he finally gave me the address, it did say about 20 minutes. So I said, okay, leaving soon. He said, okay. And then he told me what apartment number he was in. So, I'm expecting to drive there, to pull up to a, an apartment, he comes outside, we do the exchange, and it's done. And while we were driving, I went ahead and said, we're going to bump it up to $25 because I'm driving all the way to you, is that okay? And he said, no problem, baby. That also made me feel very uncomfortable, but we were already on the way, I just wanted it to be over with. So, he said, I'm out as an outside but no sign of you and I said driving closer we had a problem finding this guy the neighborhoods were very confusing it was just a pain in the butt we were all getting frustrated um, 
but this guy continued to message me. He said, do you know how cold it is outside? I believe he was trying to say, supposed to be there before let me out, baby. I, I believe he was trying to say, like, you're supposed to be in the, the area that I am before you tell me to come outside. But I really thought that we were close. And we were not, so I let him know that the numbers are hard to read. So he went ahead and told me what apartment number, he, building number he was in again. And I let him know that we were two down from that. So he said, what is your car mark? And I let him know it was just a silver car. He doesn't, know, he, he doesn't need to know the year and all that good stuff. So that's why I said that. And we circled back around... The, the apartments where he said he would be at. We thought someone would be standing outside because that's what he made it seem like. And I let him know like, hey, we're waiting in front of a trash bin. He said, what type of car do you have? He was asking me again. I said, it is a Kia Silver car. It's a Kia Silver car. It's, it's a Kia Silver car. I told you it's a silver car. Just look out for a silver car. Like, why do you keep on asking me about what car I have? So then he goes to say, white van right here. Automatically, I'm like, what? Because before I got that message, my boyfriend was like, oh, what if he's in that white van? And he was. So the joke wasn't all that funny afterwards. If you recall, when I was messaging him beforehand, he told me that he did not have a car. He said, nope, don't actually have a car, sorry. So for him to jump out of a white van, was very confusing to me. My boyfriend put down my passenger window and the guy gave me $25 and I gave him the item. I started counting the money. I was like, Are you, is this 25 in total? And he said, yes. So I made sure it was like, it felt real. And he went ahead and examined the item. He put one phone in the item, it did not fit. He put the second device in the item, it did not fit. So he was like, oh, it doesn't fit. I'm looking at him and I'm like, I asked you if you would be sure if it fit, and you said, why not? It's not a one size fit all. If it was, I would have let him know. I would, have been, I would have felt more comfortable with selling it to anybody if it was one size fit all. But he kind of was just like, like sighing and looking down at the item and his devices. And he's like, okay. And he got back in the van and we drove off. We drove off, we felt very uncomfortable. We felt very uncomfortable because I was lied to. If he was able to pull up in a white van, he could have met me at a public place. And he could have met me the next day. He could have met me the next day. I felt like he wanted to take control of me. Um, and in my profile, I do have a picture of myself. I have a picture of my face. And maybe that's why he called me baby. He maybe thought that I was attractive. I did not sit there and ask him questions. I blocked him immediately. And I also reported him because he met me at 10 something at night in a white van. I wouldn't have went if my boyfriend and his best friend and his little brother didn't come with us. I would have just pushed it off. I probably wouldn't have even sold the item, but I felt more comfortable being around people. But it's just like, even though I was still around people, I felt like he wanted to take control of me. He could have taken me, he could have snatched me up, he could have put me in the white van, he could have did whatever. And that is why my thoughts on the Let Go app have drastically changed. The people on there, and it could just be the area that I'm in, but it's just not genuine. It, it's not as genuine as it once was. Selling items has been slower than it, than it has been a few months ago. And it's like, if, if I could be in that situation, I wonder how many people have also been in that situation or have been lied to on the Let Go app and if anyone's been hurt because of the app. It just, it just makes my mind wonder just makes it wander and I want to let you guys know that if you are still looking into using the app please be careful I've had to report a, a few items that I've seen because 
there have been people trying to sell their bodies on the app. I've seen somebody selling skin on the app. They took a picture of their own arm and said skin. Price negotiable. It's not what the app used to be. It's not what it should be. I hate what it's turning into. My boyfriend actually told me that I should let the Let Go app go. And I am thinking about it. I do still have three items up for sale. I have not gotten I have not gotten any messages since Sunday. Um, I really hope that the Let Go company looks into their reports because It will definitely help them clean up their app a little bit. Um, if you guys have had any crazy situations with the Let Go app, let me know in the comments below. Or if you think my situation was crazy, let me know below. Like, what could I have done differently? What would you have done differently? And we can have a conversation about it. Um, I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video. If you want me to do at least a little Let Go run through of the Let Go app and its features, I will do that. But I doubt I would be doing any more selling or buying videos. So you can check out my military experience playlist or my story after story playlist. You know, anything I have on my channel. And I wish you all the best.